Hey everyone, just want to quickly mention at the start here that I uploaded a breakdown and analysis of yesterday's Jedi Fallen Order launch trailer over on our gaming channel, Star Wars Gaming Club. I'll put a link to the video in the description and a pinned comment below, but I would mention this will be a precursor to a number of videos featuring Fallen Order lore leading up to the release of the game, as well as gameplay videos once the game is released. So if you'd like to take a look at the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support everyone, and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Today saw the release of the fifth and final issue in the Return to Vader's Castle comic series, which focused on the Sith Lord himself, Darth Vader, and which in my opinion, is the best in the series. Picking up where issue number 4 left off, we see the Inquisitor, who's been confirmed to be credited as the Force Sister by writer Kevin Scott, attempt to gain possession of a rebel prisoner being held within Vader's castle on Mustafar, on behalf of the Emperor. As a quick aside and follow up to our video featuring this Inquisitor last week, it's later confirmed in the issue that this is a fake Inquisitor, instead being a rebel commander attempting to free the rebel prisoner. However, given Scott Cavan's tweet and the way in which the writing is presented, I think this is a fake more in the sense of it being an imposter, rather than something like the character just never existing at all. I believe there's actually a fourth sister Inquisitor with a similar look, which was then duplicated to attempt to pull off the rescue here, with the lack of a lightsaber being the only thing that tipped Vinay off to the true identity of the Inquisitor, not any more than that. That said, I will keep looking for any more confirmation for what exactly we have here in the way of a new Inquisitor, particularly one named the fourth sister. Getting back to the issue, when Vader's attendant Vinay refused to hand over the rebel prisoner, regardless of the demands seemingly from the Emperor himself, arguing the castle was Vader's domain and the Inquisitor had no authority there, a duel erupted between them. As the Inquisitor continuously attempted to use the Emperor as a means of intimidating Vinay into submission and making appeals to authority, Vinay was reminded of another Imperial envoy who traveled to Mustafar in the past, and proving that it was indeed the domain of Vader, Vinay would also note that the advisor would ultimately lose their mind there. As is the basis for the comic series, we then get the story Vinay was alluding to, seeing two Mustafar lava troopers standing guard over Vader's castle. However, we quickly learn that they aren't alone, as a number of apparently possessed creatures began pouring over the castle's exterior. It's then that we see the Imperial Envoy, referred to earlier by Vinay, named Advisor Rurzi, and who attempted to use their favor and position with the Emperor to demand that Vader explain himself as the Emperor was displeased, much to the annoyance of Vinay. However, the Advisor was interrupted and dismissed when Vader sensed a disturbance in the Force. With two Imperial Royal Guards, Vinay, and Advisor Rurzi following, Vader traveled to the gate of the castle, at which point, the Advisor couldn't ignore the loud attempts by something outside attempting to break through. Eventually, the castle was breached by Mustafarians, and with Vader recognizing the castle was now under attack, the Sith Lord ordered the Royal Guards to defend his fortress. Only there were far too many to contend with, as the guards were quickly overrun. As Vader saved one of the lava troopers seen earlier, he demanded answers. And it's here we learn that the troopers had been bitten, which resulted in them being thrown into a wild frenzy. Vader instantly knew that they were being targeted by some kind of plague, one that a terrified advisor Rosy recognized was spreading when he was almost killed by an infected royal guard. After Vader saved the advisor, he sensed a single presence controlling those infected. But before he could locate this presence, the second lava trooper gained control of Vader's arm, biting down on it, and even causing Vader to become momentarily fearful. Even worse for the advisor, it became apparent that Vader had become infected as well, and as Vader descended upon both the advisor and Vinay, they recognized it was too late to attempt to escape. It's then that the presence Vader had sensed earlier revealed herself, that individual who was controlling all those infected. Again, the advisor would try to use the Emperor's authority to demand answers. Although the attempt didn't work, we learn that she was a clan mother and she was trying to protect the secrets the world held, which itself is just a cool reveal regarding Mustafar. The clan mother then explained her attack was merely an attempt to drive the Empire from Mustafar, but she recognized she gained an even greater prize in now controlling Vader. And with that, she ordered Vader to attack the two remaining Imperials. However, as Vinay and the advisor were thrown into a panic, it's here where Vader revealed his true plan. 
With Vader defying the order of the Mustafarian leader, he explained that his cybernetics prevented him from being infected, and his order to call off the defense of the castle was simply an attempt to bring her out into the open. As Vader used the Force to lift her into the air, it became clear she wasn't going to be granted an easy death from the Sith Lord. Vader decided he would dominate the Clan Mother's will with the power of his own will, and in doing so, he would get her to order her own followers to drag her into Mustafar's lava fields. This is exactly what happened. In a terrifying display of Vader's brutality and power, a display that pleased Vinay to no end, the followers would drag and throw their own clan mother into the lava pit, and of course, killing her instantly. For Vinay and Vader, it was merely business as usual within the Sith Lord's Mustafar castle. But for the Imperial Advisor, it was a display of Vader's power that he would never be able to forget. As Vinay noted at the beginning of the story, Advisor Rosie had lost his mind thanks to the devastating actions of Vader, as when Vader reminded the Advisor that his shuttle awaited him to deliver his report directly to the Emperor, the Advisor could only repeat the scene he watched Vader unleash on the Mustafarian leader. Vinay's point to the Inquisitor was made. Even representatives of Emperor Palpatine himself needed to earn respect within Vader's castle. And as we noted previously, Vinay would eventually uncover that the Inquisitor was no Inquisitor at all, but Rebel Commander Lena Graf, posing as a member of the Inquisitorius to free the Rebel prisoner. Ultimately, Commander Graf would succeed, quickly defeating Vinay and escaping to a waiting shuttle with the Lieutenant. Unfortunately for Vinay, he would then learn that Vader's wrath could also be directed at him. Although he would grovel for Vader's forgiveness when it was revealed that the Rebel had escaped, Vader had a story of his own to tell Vinay, one that would find the Attendant within the Sith Lord's torture web. So there we have it, more classic battles instigated by Vader's Mustafar castle. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can find a link to it in the description below, along with all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For the fourth sister, wherever you are...